Spray Vita started two years ago. We have uh, our partner and founder, Ruben, um, Ruben Ranker, and he's from England. And he traveled through South America, paying for his travels via graffiti. So he would stay in places for graffiti. He participated in graffiti projects in Peru and Colombia. And when he got to Rio, he thought like, this is a perfect place to do a graffiti project because A, there's space, right? B, the favelas are like a picturesque place to do graffiti and bring art to. It's a place that needs, it's a place that people are appreciative of. And it's a place where you can have a positive impact on the community. We get volunteers and it's a really good way to integrate people from abroad with the local residents. They come here and they spend the whole day here and they are chatting with local residents, they're painting with them and they're really getting to know these communities. Os turistas que vêm para cá, às vezes eles passam pelos becos e vão embora, né? Levam uma foto. Com o projeto Spray Vida, eu, o, o diferencial que, que existe, o turista que vem para cá, ele deixa um valor agregado dentro da comunidade. Ele deixa um grafite, né? ele aprende a fazer grafite e ele deixa um produto dentro da comunidade. Algo que a comunidade vai ver todos os dias e que vai estar trabalhando e é importante por isso. Pois sabe que agora estou vivendo outra paixão É isso que atormenta e machuca o seu peito Saber que estou feliz e que existe amor perfeito Você que se acerte com a sua ilusão We like to try and change people's perceptions of the favelas because the media coverage abroad, especially like for example in England, if Hossini is on the news, it's because there's a shootout, it's because of the violence. And everyone will say like, don't go to the favelas, they're dangerous. But in reality, like, you know, there's normal people that live here and there's a really big culture here in the favelas. Hope Asuja is where we paint in Hosinia, and that's considered to be poor and dirty. And if you can try to change the way that people think about the community, so if we say like, all right, look how freaking cool Hope Asuja is now because it has all that graffiti, oh, that's a cool place. People will be more proud of the place they live, and I think it'll start to change some of these preconceptions that people have about the community, because right now, what is it associated with? Violence and drugs and gangs and things like that. But if like the, the outside, the visual part of the community can match like the beauty of the people within, then people will have the opportunity to show that beauty to the world. Então, venham todos para a comunidade da Rocinha fazer grafite com a gente. Check the Couchsurfing events pages, and every Wednesday and Friday we're painting, and if we have any special days, it'll be posted on that. A comunidade está de portas abertas aí esperando vocês.